Vulcan.com now. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you should actually definitely use it more. Yeah. Um, you should get vocalcombs.ca too, just to make sure. You get <laughs> org. Dot, dot you, for those, for those you. three people. You should dot put CN. Dot family. Because we all know. <laughs> it's it's all a dot XXX as well, just in case. Vocal tomes is not one person. Oh, they Hana means bro vocal tomes. <laughs> I found a uh, I found a kung fu movie from 2010. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called um, Gallants. Weird title. I have not. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have to. <laughs> yeah, I have to check it out myself. It. I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna maybe create a wait, new wait, thing. We are live, by the way, Steve. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the movie a little more closely because it uh, it sounds like a really it sounds like a postmodern sort of like film about like the whole era you know of Hong Kong kung fu because it's got like these sort of like aged characters who've like you know they're they're like seniors now kind of thing you know and they're like they're not really doing the kung fu thing anymore but they're like, now they're running a restaurant like, yeah yeah exactly um, right. And then, and then, of course, like there's some rival school or something, and then they want to like kind of get back into it. Yeah, always, but it, it it actually it actually seems like a movie that rather than just going over the same notes over and over again, like it actually ascends to that kind of like okay, we're gonna like do a nostalgia thing, but also kind of like a postmodern thing, you know. So I don't know if it's a really good movie, but yeah, it's just one I was wondering whether you'd seen or not. So um, we will have to look I, into. I hadn't that. even heard of it. So no, I've never heard of it either. Yeah, it just totally. It's like from 10 years ago, you know? So yeah, I, yeah anyway, like, nobody, wow. no one's super famous is in it, but I, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of it, you know, like it, that it's because yeah, there's a lot of Kung Fu movies that are going to be like kind of mocking existing stuff. But I think this one actually probably does a good like job. Of for once. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like Kung Fu Hustle is sort of like the next level, right? Like if, if you're going to like, if you're going to like do Kung yeah, Fu, if you're going to achieve like, parody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the latest, exactly. yeah. the latest Access quarter cruise um, stuntman reacts is uh -oh. really good because it has Jackie Chan Jackie Chan stunt, stunt team. team. Oh. So, oh, I love them! So right. it's yep. amazing. <laughs> the stories he has are wow, just wow. Stuff wow. you can't do anymore. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have done wow. back then. A lot of the <laughs> stuff they did, they should have never done. Yeah. <laughs> or you just like it's just, it's very surprising, Jackie Chan. <laughs> survived this long let alone his stunt team it's true yeah it is shall Just, we oh i always think of um was it meals on wheels where he jumps out of the window and uh they pull Which like one? the canopy out of the way <laughs> yeah, true. like the first one where he pulls it and then he lands on his tailbone oh my god he lands on his tailbone so much wheel. i just all the time oh hey oh, thanks for the sub uh haven Oh, yeah! Hey! Welcome hey. <laughs> to the sub club. Sub club. Mm, I could go for a sub. Ten, oh. oh, man. I haven't had a sub in a while. Too many How many carbs. minutes in? We're in five minutes five in. Minutes in. God damn it. <laughs> I mm. promise we won't only talk about sandwiches. Sandwiches. Oh, I know. A we'll delicious we'll cheese sandwich? sandwiches. Mm. Delicious all kinds of food. sandwiches. Cheese I didn't make it out. I didn't, I didn't manage to actually get outside and get food. I was going to get a whole freaking platter of do, do you have craft to like slices? You could make a cheese sandwich. No, I don't have sandwich? craft slices. Sandwich? Delicious cheese sandwich? No, I don't have anything in my fridge. This is oh. why. This just is rip torture for me. Off and just... Yeah. Because I could yeah. go for a cheese sandwich. Uh, you want to know something funny? When I worked cheese. at a grocery store, I would find people, you know, they leave stuff all around the store, <laughs> so I would do returns, and if, if something that was cold was, like, luckily wasn't sitting out too long, I was like, oh, you're still cold, I can take you back to the dairy section. So one time, you had a cheese I had sandwich. cracked cheese, right? Yeah. And I was walking by the customer service area, because I was customer service at the time, and I held up to my coworker, and I was like, oh, look, it's me, white American single. <laughs> and they were like, oh. <laughs> get out. Pretty good. <laughs> Uh, still am. All three, all three of those things. <laughs> oh. oh. For now. For now. For you never now. know. I might not be American. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back. Come okay. on up to Canada. I shouldn't have laughed so it's loud about that. Jennifer <laughs> Hill from living Canada. There's oh. hope for me. We, we have some wonderful... Yes. Yeah, ...truck convoys. Yeah, yeah. You know, Desecration of, of war memorials, too. Like, I don't well, even we've got it all. Uh, like... 
I watched that happen live. You watched the you watched the actual stream? I watched that fucking happen live. Okay, okay. David. Actually, How's your editing? Oh, Are you good? <laughs> you want to break our hearts? How's your why you, why are you laughing like that? <laughs> uh, oh it's like we play so little that we. I keep telling you guys we need you. Well, more so you guys need to hang out outside of D&D. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm trying to bring us back. Hey, I know. I, I I read what we did. Oh, but like, true. now read it again. Because <laughs> I am not the DM. I'm never the DM who's like, "Let's get down to brass tacks. Let's go." I'm just like, "You guys, we do like you're here to have fun." We awkwardly fun. talk until you're ready. That's that's the thing. Neither of us. No, are he's always to, ready like, though. That's always. the thing. He's always ready. He's not ready. always ready. I I'm never know. Ready. I think he needs us to vamp, so I keep vamping, and the next thing I know, he's like, "You vamp too long," and I'm like, "Well, yeah, fuck! I, call me we need then some sort of signal. Ready. We need some sort of I roll for initiative. Hand. Yeah. I'm attacking like, the darkness. The signal is when Eric Magic says we're missile. live. <laughs> I love how you. He already said that. I love how he can't like make the second I can't middle make finger. The second middle finger. That's that's yeah, so tragic. He's like when I, Eric I, says I we're bad, live, we but, play. That's it. Yeah. When no Eric less, says we're live, but the thing is, someone is always mid story when maybe, Eric goes live. Maybe with, yeah, uh, when we're talking talk. about food. That's when so. We're I'm just making. Okay, then we should have started twenty minutes ago. Yeah, I just love making giant catch twenty two. Ready, ready, ready. When last we were together, we were at Dugan's Hole. I laughed at that a lot because I'm a child. Dugan. We spoke with Sister <laughs> Egra. And then we all thought, hmm, maybe we should head back to Bryn Shander to find out what the fuck we're even doing anymore. And our elf boy companion, who has yet to be named, may never be named, suggested also, maybe, we should go to Luskin. Because they got the Tower of the Arcane there. Okay, well, to be precise, we, we went to the tree in the first place to get help. Thanks, for the Haven. for the hellhole Bye. thing, and then that ended up being an absolute. Bye, Haven. You know, I I don't know who I'm waving at, but hello, Haven. Um, <laughs> Haven. All right. Studio. Oh, Haven. hello, Haven. Studio. Are you having a good time? Hello. Yeah. Hey, sorry, uh, I um, believe there was an but... intense debate about Luskin. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, just backtracking, the whole reason we went to the giant tree in the first place was she was going to help us. Uh, with where we want to end up, and and now now we're now we can't trust her because she took my, my freaking yeah. orb. And now we learned that she was possibly a we can't shady, trust not you either. Lady, so I don't know what she is, but she's bad news, and yeah. we need reinforcements. And uh, good need is not going to help us. So I want to go back to Bryn Shander. I know it's going around in circles, but good it's the need next. Can only it's do the so next much. major. Uh, either we're going to Bryn Shander or we're gonna, just going to go blind into, you know, whatever hellhole we left behind before. So I say Bryn and we Shander. we can't do that. We're going to fucking Bryn die Shander. if we do that. I don't know if we're going to go to Luskin. Luskin seems really far. But let's just go to Bryn Shander for now. And we'll see if there's still giants uh, willing to stomp us. Uh, so, yeah. So the reason we're going there is there's, just, there's nothing else up here. It's freaking frozen wastes. And I've got maybe, no orb, and I'm pissed. Maybe to resupply is what we also said uh, while we're... Um, Hello. Just, yeah, just by the way, if you play with a whole party of neurotyp... Or no, no, not neurotypicals. No, Neurodivergent neuro players. Neuro players so yeah, we are all fucking... Very, including you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, um, I'm very, at least very on note. board with that. Yeah, I want to be clear, though. Every time uh, every time Daryl Fell mentions that orb, Bambi just gets... Just, just a little bit tenser. Just a little bit. Just... She's mad about it. Like she's still like she still cannot believe you did that. To... We were she your thought friend. it was a horrible idea. <laughs> it's okay. Your your ghostly friend will calm okay. you. I'm sure. You, she she has some emotional damage. I mean, fair enough. You, you want to emotional Don't play. All right. So we're all agree with emotional damage. Right? Damn it. Yeah, we're oh going to bring Shander. Oh my Shander. god. I love him so much. <laughs> I actually say that in real life too. Like if something happens oh, to no. me and I'm like, this is traumatic. I'm like emotional now, damage. And now I, all I want is chicken fried rice. God damn it. Everything, mm. everything comes back You're to- telling me a chicken fried this rice? I just, I just saw that meme the other day. <laughs> I love I the love shrimp one. one. They're like a shrimp fried this rice. <laughs> Incredible. A shrimp fried this rice? And now you're talking uh, about shrimp fried rice. So hungry. <laughs> I uh, god damn it. Okay, let's go um, to Bryn Shander sure, already. I'm pretty sure I saw a thing. I had a I don't I keep losing this. I have a document that tells me how long it takes to go from place to place. Mm -hmm. You do. And from 
from really Le- from Brin Shander to Luskin is not that long. Oh, really? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. It's like long, but not that long. You know what I mean? It's like, like ten like, days, isn't it? From it's long to them, isn't it like ten days? It's also no. only one day from here to back to Bryn Shander. You don't even. Yes. Have to that's vampires. why we were. That's why we were going to Bryn Shander first. We don't even have to fight vampires. You know, fair point. You know, Eric would have left about it had don't he heard. Don't us. I missed it. Damn it. I don't like the, vampires. The take from Lusk Do you see my Tom. shield? No, I don't have it. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have it at this point? You don't got an orb. You don't got a shield. You got nothing, do you? <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot about the shield. <laughs> um, It's probably, I think it's around three weeks between Luskin on foot, right? Purely on foot walking, three weeks between Luskin and Bryn Shander. Maybe like we how long we horse. were apart. That's... No big deal. Well, no, but there's long... probably faster ways to get there. So from Bryn Shander. Horses. They have horses. Oh. They might have gates. Just here, we'll turn this down just a little bit so you guys can see the dog for a second. There see he is. Dog. Oh. I see dog. Oh, Bela. Stream we might can not see you. Dog. Oh, that's where the, one of the mics it's went. <laughs> <laughs> what? The the AT twenty one. Yeah. I couldn't remember where the where they like where they got distributed. Yeah, yeah, Eric, yeah. I, d- I delivered. Yeah, I delivered mine to her. That's <laughs> yeah. That's where Eric's real bad at keeping track of inventory. That's okay. <laughs> we got them for well, free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we like to promote yeah. that. I mean, they're nice mics. I mean, it works <laughs> fine, right? So. They are nice mics. It works way better than the yeah. headset mic that I have. It's mm-hmm. uh, for sure trash. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So okay, let's go. So Bryn Shander. Bryn Shander. Yep. Elf NPC lead the way. What? That's not. No, he doesn't. He doesn't do that. He's not. Uh, he's no. not the other L. He's one. We'll make his him. first name other. Elf. Um, N will be his middle name. And then PC is his last name. Elf NPC. Or we just call him Buddy. Buddy the Elf. <laughs> buddy. He's half human. He, your dad. He's half human. <laughs> Makes me sad. And he's just bye, like, bye. am I a joke to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I will call him Buddy, because then if he's like, is that a nickname? I'll be like, no, I'm just calling you Buddy. Like, that's a thing. You're my buddy. I'm Are not you your not buddy. my buddy? I'm, I'm not your buddy, pal. guy. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not, I'm not your buddy. friend. friend. Hey. I'm not your pal, friend. Hey. Friend. Um, friend. All right. Are you guys hey. going via the road? Or are you going... Yes. There's no Canada. Okay. Yeah, like let's just take Canada. the road. Yeah, we said the weather. I'm going to be clear. I'm going to cut everyone off there. We are not fucking tromping through the woods. However, as... I, I will say this. This is my suggestion. As we get closer to Bryn Shander, we might want to be like, I don't know, slightly stealthy or see if we can scout ahead a bit just to see if there are a bunch of fucking giants still hanging around. Yes. Agree. I'm too pissed send, off send to have buddy. sensible ideas at this point, so whatever. Buddy guy. I mean, he's like, I can kill some giants. Like, I don't see the problem. That's right. That was another reason why we were willing to go because he's this guy loves killing giants. <laughs> he's like, I've killed so many giants. Well, there you go. Like right. alone? We're the road then. Like, a, like alone? <laughs> well, when they don't I trust see you coming, they go down real easy. Well, I mean, fair go. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. So it'd be easier at night, but you know, I could do it during the day, probably. Times for killing. Uh, I'm just gonna roll one thing. All my dice are in the other room, death. so I'll have to roll on D and D Beyond do that uh because we're being stealthy can we just get free dice no. from down the road too? there's a new set of dice in dnd beyond yeah Hi, sweet boy. i don't know how to change dnd beyond a 17. kill me them dices dice. and who is guiding you along these roads who is your survival check leader Ooh, who's all got right the best let's survival? see I think it's Daryl with Fell, if I remember yeah, right. He's got a plus two might. or a plus three. I have, no, a, I have plus a plus three. five, actually. Ooh. Plus right. five. Yeah, I got a plus it's one. Because, it's because of the wisdom. I don't even have the skill, but I just know not to step in the poop. Daryl is so wizened. He's like, don't eat the yellow snow. Fell. Ooh. Rolling. Oh, that's not so good. 13 survival. Okay. Kind of sucks. Oh, uh, relevant. I have exhaustion. One level of exhaustion still. So you have disadvantage. Yeah, that's, that's the first time I Do I have, have to roll it. as well? That was an accident. Okay. It, it's only going to matter if uh, you have exhaustion level two, which would decrease your uh, speed okay. by a half. 
Mm. Also, you got your your comfy boots of warmness, so you're okay. I do. I got dice of true color. Shine. That's a That's thirteen plus one is fourteen. I don't know why I clicked the the custom dice thing. <laughs> yeah, but what's the there, I have nerd crazy. clusters, and they match your shirt. Yeah, oh, these are my PJs. Uh, <laughs> nice. I've worn them on stream nice. two days in a row. <laughs> Two. Okay, you're living your best life. That's Two. efficient. That's <laughs> efficient. I've been is that, what are you doing here? Is this like a, a Vulcan thing? I don't. It's a Ninja Turtle it's a, I'm thing. I'm in pain. Thing. I'm a Ninja, Ninja Turtle. Turtle thing. That Ninja Turtles Ninja do it like this. Yeah. You pass. You no, pass do two, two travelers. Oh. You pass two travelers on the road in the early morning, and they're in a big furry coat. You can't see their face. It's like sunken. You know, the the coat's real big, keeping them warm. It is very cold. Um. And but they have a sort of awkward gait about them, but you know they and they they, they keep their distance. But they three gnomes in a trench coat. <laughs> they uh. You have to tell us who they are. <laughs> they just you know, kind of like give you the old like. Princess Leia's inside one of those coats. They, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> too obvious, to yeah. dude. That part was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even shaved. Like there were so many reasons you would know he's not an officer. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm presuming it's the series that I watched while I was drunk. It's fine. Look, okay, that that looked a little too obvious, but you know what? I don't even care. I just want to get to Bryn Shander. So it's up to you guys. Okay. If I'm you gonna want to roll like... an in uh, perception or investigation. Perception. Perception check. That is a critical failure. Just seems like looks like normal. Ninja Turtles. The, these normal people, just no, totally normal people. Westworld boys. They're walking. They, they are, they are like walking weird, me? right? Uh, you, you're not. I mean, some, I don't get that reference. Walk but I think differently, I you know. Who knows? Oh, Do they look like humans? Are they humans? They're humanoid. Humanoid. Yeah. So two arms, two legs. You know. As big, we walk by, I'm gonna say up. close enough. Howdy, friends. <laughs> and they're kind of like anybody oh. in the Forgotten Realms say howdy. Howdy, friends. I'm sorry. They, they say what? Do. They go, huh? That the unapproachable east. They don't really. I mean, like, like, you know, they, they give you this, like, they don't quite raise their arm all the way to, like, say hi. They're just like, huh. Hmm. They're absolutely three way. gnomes in a trench coat. Oh, oh my um, god. Uh, amazing. I hope so. <laughs> maybe kobolds if we're lucky. Oh. I'm fine. I, I, see, I see someone looking at spells. Wait. What if it's the gnomes we played as in the other part of the campaign? Uh, that would be awesome. We could group up. It's like tie on the top. God, I hope. I see your... Remember Gnome Depot? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I still want to be Gnome I Depot. Ever. I have made if a replacement die, character gnome for Gnome, gnome Depot, Depot, by the way. I thought I've got, yours I've got, healed. I've got my really offensive... No. He's From Ashes? He's... I, I want you to take a look no again at my, at my name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting on a table fully healed, but there's nothing there. It's, it's, it's soul is body. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's like in uh, Stranger Things. Anyway. I've got my, I've got my uh, Asian Chromomancer all ready to go. I'm going to, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to, uh, uh, mm, oh, fuck. What is it? <laughs> Oh, I'd fuck. like to do so many things. However, oh, no. what I will do is uh, send the steel defender just to like sniff up on them. Be like, hey, let's go. <laughs> okay. They don't seem to take kindly to your um, wild uh, animal. Uh, He's a construct. I baited it's a, myself. It's a, it's a weird metal thing that's sniffing, but yeah, it's it, okay. It's very cold is what it is. Covered that's in fair. frost. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. He's just like that around strangers. He's very friendly. You're welcome to pet him. No. I love how much I love how much David's like waddling to emphasize how awkward these things are. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> like he never wants us to get to Bryn Chander. He's like, they could just walk there, but no, they're gonna I come. Right, hey, he rolled the random roll, encounter I table. Roll the I random encounter, did. and then I go. It's two people who are somewhat conspicuous. What do you, do yeah. you want to do anything about Who it? Are, like you go waddling, and, you, you and they're not really. Go, We're not interested, Dave. And you go okay. And then I, I've already rolled the next one. That's that. exactly what have? I said. I'm like, fuck these guys. But, I. But oh, somebody wants to role play with these people. These, <laughs> fuck these suspicious looking guys because I know they're suspicious. Do we have one piece uh, of gold. There, I'll uh, give them one piece of gold to show me they're not three gnomes in a trench coat. Don't. <laughs> no. 
throw gold around. Just they're like already silver. walking past you. They're you're like looking oh, back uh, now. Uh, hail, uh, hail, uh, hail traveler, Star traveler. I do have a question um, uh, about the the road up ahead. Do they respond? Oh, they're, they're just like no, they're just like. Uh, there's like giants that. up ahead. What a, yes. What a pleasant couple. <laughs> I throw a rock at totally them. I throw a rock a at them. Oh, these are three gnomes in the trench coat. I throw a rock at them. Swear oh, no. <laughs> it's roll an attack roll. What kind of attack roll? Throw a rock? Just add your dexterity. Just add okay. your dexterity. Oh, oh, roll. No. See, I was gonna pay them. I was gonna tempt them to show me, show me their secrets. The nineteen. This rock, you throw it. You throw it like thirty feet, and it wings off the back of the. Ah! Um, let me roll. They're fraggle rocks, guys. It's okay. <gasps> yeah. Bum, 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 they do sound like muffin. Uh, rock. No, they're they're doozer, dozers, dozers. Oh, what are they? Because they're smaller. Uh, no, but then it'd have to be ten dozers in the coat. It wouldn't be a three fraggles in a coat. Yeah, maybe there's. Or is big. there a dozen dozers in the coat? <laughs> a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> a dozen. I love fraggle rock. Shows my the new one's good too. Apple. There's a new one. Yeah, what? It's on Apple TV. And um, they stumble and they're like, arr, arr, and then they could just like kind of collect themselves. The other one kind of turns and like grabs them and steadies them, and then they're like, arr, you, arr, and then they uh, just try to continue on their way. Like, they're wow, not don't you hate it when people just chuck a rock at you when you're walking by and then just kind of <laughs> leave it be? I feel like that Frodo meme, then he's like, all right, then keep your secrets. <laughs> it's like, I've tried my best and I can't tempt them. So I'm just Pretty like, well, much. one Wait, day we'll so find out it's the big bad of the whole campaign. Who was just like, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to be clear. Uh, uh, like, I think that Bambi is interested enough that she's going to keep throwing rocks at them oh. unless somebody stops her. <laughs> Cause like, she's like, I don't know what this is, but these are clearly humanoids and they don't want to talk to us. And I'm my just character like, is literally just standing. I'm going to use my the, reflexes to keep catching the rocks that she's like throwing. The, Ooh. the nameless half elf is like, is this a normal behavior these days to throw rocks at strangers along the road? I thought there was etiquette to. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, are they strangers not. along the road? Can you tell what they are? Because they can't speak English. I mean, common. I mean, <laughs> my elven yes, friend. Common. Yeah, common. There we go. Because they can't seem to speak common, although they are humanoid, which is not necessarily a sign that they are, you know, not three uh, gnomes in a trench coat. <laughs> but uh, it is concerning, is it not? The no, way that they are moving. No. I'm gonna keep it's catching the rocks. I'm gonna say, Bambi, how would you like it if somebody threw a rock at you? My elven friend, our you party. Are also is... gnome. Why are you throwing rocks? Never at been home? beholden to etiquette. I've never thought about it. So no, it's not a thing of the times. <laughs> it's just us. Always us. Sorry about the rock throwing. Can I like heal you or something? I'm very sorry. No time. <laughs> well, there. Where does he that, said it does was that fine. come from? The person at the top. Does it come from inside the coat? <laughs> <laughs> it comes. It comes from the top. Okay, just it comes from the top of the like coat. Normal, like just human. <laughs> Why did you sound like three gnomes in a trench coat? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Um. Let's... Everybody. Everybody can make. I'll laugh. <laughs> Everybody can make an intelligence investigation check if they want. Well, shit. All right. All right. Oh, cool perfect. Success. I rolled a one. Perfect. A critical <laughs> success after my critical failure. Literally one roll of But I want you to understand that the encounter is over once I reveal the results <gasps> of this check. I got 18. 20. Oh, I got 20. Man. So, Derelith, what's your total? Your total's less than five, I'm guessing. If you yeah, no, no. I got, actually, I got six. <laughs> but I rolled a one, so... Yeah, Derelith, you're like, yeah, it's just a normal, just some normal people. I don't... It's two normal, peculiar people um, who don't mind having rocks thrown at them, just like everybody. <laughs> what? Uh, exactly. <laughs> also, also <laughs> on, a fa on a fail check, uh, the target is wholeheartedly convinced, you are wholeheartedly convinced you saw a normal human being, and how dare you insist otherwise. <laughs> Damn. People love having rocks thrown at them. They're just normal people. B and B. The way they react. Now that you go back to your mind palace, you're like it's obvious. They weren't wearing palace. boots, and then you look down, you see the tracks they've left, and their little, little, like scaly paw prints. <gasps> kobolds! Oh, I was right. <laughs> I was like gnomes or kobolds if uh, we're lucky. Prudek wrote that in the in the chat. Three yeah. kobolds. Yeah. Three kobolds in a trench coat is a real thing. So. E? 
My friend, my friend, uh, Joe Smodley created three goblins in a breastplate, <laughs> which, which was a really Wait, rough encounter. Because they I try mean, to, I'm glad we're they, leaving them alone. They mm -hmm. try to pull you into the breastplate. Um, yeah. Let it be known I was right, though. It was three goblins. It was three. Gnomes, and I said kobolds if we're lucky. It was oh, technically well. six kobolds and two trench coats. Yes, but it was three yeah, yeah. in one trench coat. Um, as you guys near oh, the walls encounter. of Bryn Shander, as it comes awesome. into view, you don't see any giants. You see traffic. Uh, close. Oh, good. It, it is. It is getting quite dark. Mm. Um, and overhead, it's an overcast sky and. <clears throat> You get the you get like a weird chill down your spine. Not like a cold chill, <laughs> just like a a spooky chill. Something's wrong, you know. Like spooky. Oh, uh, just for context, mm -hmm. someone's is watching it... you. Yeah, is it like the over... giants are still there, but they're invisible? It's what? I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> uh, uh, is it? Uh, is this like? Is the spooky like over Bryn Shander, or is it like the entire sky sort of deal? No, is it like just, concentrated? No, you just like as you're walking, you're just like you feel anxiety. <laughs> That's the oh, you know. So you, Monday, basically. All yeah, right. you have anxiety. Me right now. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I don't feel any anxiety <laughs> when we play. <laughs> and then, screeching out of the sky, is. Uh, let me put an image on the thing. Oh, no. Like screeching like... Yeah, or screeching we're... like... I think we're about to find out. I feel like okay. we're about to discover. Both? I think I've got the wrong link. The ring wraith's not here. Uh, it's in the... It's the pinned... Claim them. It's the pinned yeah, one on the top. The if you want to come and claim it. Oh, I can just copy. I can just... Can't I just pull this over? There we go. Does that work? Dun, 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 Big bird. Um, immediately snatch the homunculus and throw it in my bag. <laughs> well, they're going for, they're going for Bambi. There's two of them. One's going for Bambi, <gasps> and and one wants the homunculus. How big so. are they? What? Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna shoot a guiding bolt at they, well, going let, for Bambi. Like, these guys come screeching out of the sky like like hawks, essentially. Almost so it, we are. <laughs> it's it's the size of a medium. God damn it, hawk! It, it's I'm like, gonna it's say like it. A, on a Bambi embrace. It's like a golden eagle. It's a big creature. I don't think creature. we have the time to respond to this. Not yet. We do. We're screeching. Uh, I'm going to do one talon against Bambi and one ah. talon against Dylan Feldley. Oh, I'm going to beat him up. Kill him! Not the Throw homunculus. The dice. That's a nat 20 against oh, Bambi. No. Dylan Feldley is homunculus. <laughs> and that is... Uh, a 23 against Dylan Feldley. Oh, no. I rolled really well. Uh, actually, 23 doesn't hit Dylan Feldley. He's, uh, oh, got does a special, okay. he's got a special blind spot. He a, yeah, oh. he hit a 22 or 24. You're good. I mean, I didn't roll those with advantage. Those were just straight attacks, so it's not even like... Uh, it was meant to happen. This well, was meant to be a straight attacks. So, no gay attacks. Uh, Bambi, Bambi, this creature launch, latches its talons it into so. you. And starts trying to fly away. <laughs> like it's this like got, seems got, familiar. Like, an, like a like a, an e oh yeah, you take nine points of piercing damage from Thank its talons. Oh, um, like it's like an eagle snatching a trout, right? Like it's just like yoink, or a dragon getting a goat, whatever. Just um, <laughs> but Dallin Philly's so small, it just like palms him. It just like scoops him up. That's mine. <laughs> no. Well, as soon as I can, I'm firing shit. All right, now you can all roll initiative. All right. Uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, how much damage does Dylan Feldley take? None. He just gets scooped up because oh. he's so okay. tiny. He's too okay. tiny for it to. I appreciate it. I hope that I go last oh. in the initiative order because I think that would be appropriate given the circumstances. <laughs> well, I rolled under you, so. 
Impressive. Most yeah, thank impressive. you. It was probably my lowest roll yet. What'd you get? <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> I got a seven. Oh. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I got so an that eight. was a four plus three. I got yeah. a 12. S I have a 14. Nice, I'm actually nice. first for well, once. Wow, we're all terrible. <laughs> Hey, I'm hey, always last. Listen, so. this was genuinely shocking. It caught us off guard. The dice are role playing appropriately. <laughs> We're all still joking about the kobolds walking, being like, no, but really, it was, I'm pretty sure it was cool. What did Marcus. Get, what did no, Marcus they're just regular people who oh. don't mind Does getting he, hit in the head with good. rocks. <laughs> then, next thing we know, and then Bambi's flying through the air like, scratch record. Well, I didn't, I but didn't you wonder how I got here. To get attacked by birds. <laughs> I start singing. In the arms of the I have a higher angel. initiative, so hold it. The eagle chick. <laughs> oh god. Um, un I'm thinking yeah, of the sad filter commercials. Unsurprisingly, Darylith Fell uh, will act first. Okay, oh, I actually have an interesting question. My Eldritch Blasts can pull if I want to. If I hit it with two of them, though, because I shoot two, yep, does yep. it pull twice? Yes. Oh, okay, let's Ooh. do that then. I will fire two yoink Eldritch yoink. Blasts at the one uh, grabbing at Bambi. Okay. So first attack, 21 to hit. Oh, yeah. And nice. second attack, 22 to hit. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's uh, 20 feet closer. I don't know if that helps or not, but whatever, I well, roll do your one. damage, too. That's a I'm D10. a little bit closer. Eight damage for the first shot. Friend. And... Oh, no, men so small. Come a little Eight damage bit for the second shot. Wow, this is a good... Yeah, I don't think you've pretty. ever rolled this. This yeah, yeah, like, that's actually none the best of us have. Daryl is like, Eldritch I blasts. am the group leader. I, I, a real warlock. No, here. I'm just missing my fucking orb. Um, so you <laughs> you lash out two lines of Eldritch energy, and they uh, <laughs> this 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 Poof. part um, uh, like when a bird creature, hits an airplane, which is like part eagle, part um reindeer. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck that with is. the head of like a, uh, um, a lion, like a dead wolf. Um, oh, nice! Oh, yeah, oh that, that that took a that took a dark turn. All right. Well, it's got like no skin. Like it's sort of like a vulture, but it's more canine like. And uh, you lash out with eldritch energy, and these uh, rays just snatch each wing and pull it back down to the ground while nice. just inflicting. Uh, delicious uh, force damage. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Was your bonus action? Is there a bonus action you want to do? Oh, uh, I don't think I have one that's appropriate, but let me just check. Sorry. Um, da -da -da -da. Bonus. No, I do not have a... Okay. Then oh, no, is... I will cast Shield of Faith on Bambi. Oh. Okay. What does that give me? Plus two AC. Two Thank AC. you very much. And then it is Marcus close Rand's enough, turn. It's my turn. I will cast sleep on Marcus. on the same hawk thing. Keep in mind, sleep is an area of effect. Hawk, is he here? <laughs> I will cast everyone asleep there. Um, <laughs> so I get to roll five d eight. Five d eight. I have twelve, sixteen. 19, 20, 22. 22 hit points? Yeah. Okay, well, the one carrying Bambi falls asleep. Nice. Oh, well, wow. How uh, fun. Glad I glad our gave her but field it, of it, faith. There the fell and pulled it right <laughs> to yeah. him, so it's okay. right, right next to him. So it falls. Oh, uh, you're free of its grasp. Uh, how many hit points does uh, Delon Feldley have, and can he be put to sleep? Uh, I do not believe it. he can be magically charmed. Uh, uh, charmed. Slept. It's different. Yeah, technically, it's not the same thing. Uh, he is immune to exhaustion and poison, but do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, uh, uh, yes, I believe he is able to be slept. Well, he he in the Here. arms of this uh, angel, dire eagle creature, just goes. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Like ratchet. Well, not a thought. Of so, so if uh, if his doom is uh, soon, at least he will be unconscious for it. That's fair. Uh, my <laughs> friend, is there anything else you would like to do? Yes. I'm gonna bardically inspire Bambi. Okay. Look at that, Bambi. Inspiration. It's your turn. You Bambi, can do you it. You are inspired. You are, <laughs> you can you are do it. laying prone with this creature on top of you, with uh, 
wounds in your shoulders. And you Sleep. all have also so I can... been shielded faithfully. I do. I love that. Um, faithfully. Uh, remind me, can I do a coup de gras if it's asleep? <laughs> you can attack in melee with advantage, and it's an automatic critical hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... You, like, Actually, just, you, you, could, you could shoot, but you don't get advantage to hit, but it would still be an auto crit. Uh, don't worry, I have a melee weapon. And boy, howdy, will I be using it. I'm gonna use giant sleep to hit. That is Oh, is that that special mace you got? It is indeed, and that's a 24 to hit. Oh, oh my god. Absolutely hits this unconscious creature. Remember, did you make sure you roll with advantage? Because it could be a crit. Actually, it's an auto crit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an auto crit. So make sure you roll critical damage. Uh, I don't know how to... Oh, critical damage. When you roll, roll damage, damage, yeah, you can, there, like, yeah. pull up a... You can right-click it, yeah. Yeah, D&D Beyond, it's never been easier. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 11. Oh, you pulling those, two, pulling those checks. Unfortunate. God, I wish. <laughs> uh, all right, you you take your mace and you bash it right in the skull and you break off one of its horns, its antlers, and some... cave in its skull a little bit, and it goes even more so. <laughs> and knocks wow. off its headphones. <laughs> That's impressive. It has headphones. Critical. Yeah. The acting is off the charts. <laughs> um, okay. Is there a bonus action you would like to perform? As I don't think you can make a second attack. Or can you? Can you make a second attack? You have the extra uh, attack feature. I don't think she does. I do not have an extra attack feature, no. Uh, I could do Branding Smite, but I'm not going to do it for these little fucks. Um, I am just <laughs> going to, like, scream to Delamfeldly impotently. Like, no! <laughs> Give me back my body! My buddy and me. Yeah. Oh, that's this. right. This is a magical. Yeah, it's an it's a second edition Warhammer. So it's a Warhammer that does a D four, but it is plus seven damage for you, which is uh, pretty good. I thought it oh, did four K damage. Cause yeah. it's a Warhammer. Yeah. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40k, 40. I know. Age of Sigmar damage. Oh, um, that hurts me even more. That's totally unrelated. <laughs> All right, Xanimate. <laughs> It's me! One, one of these creatures is starting to fly away with Delon Feldley. Not it's on my getting, watch. It's it's about to start getting further away. I am going to... I am Job. I want to, perhaps... Can I... No. No. Is it... No, you wait, you said it like kind of looked like it was dead. Is it actually dead? The one, no, no, the one Bambi hit is still up. Yeah, okay. It's prone at the moment, but that's guess... a nice little tag team. Pull, like you know, Daryl Bell hooks him, it. and then Marcus Ren nets him with the sleep. And then Bambi yeah, I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna short bow him. Shoot him with the short bow. We're all about mm -hmm. the flying one or the one that's down. I mean, I assume the one that's down, like the one that's flying away, is taking. Like Bambi and Delon Feldley, right? Well, it's taking Delon Feldley, little I'm baby Feldley. Delon Feldley. Yeah, Bambi, Bambi's actually on the ground in... now. Bambi's yeah, but I assume fine. we can rush to her aid, so I'd rather stop. I'm gonna yeah, save the okay. homunculi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Take, take, take the shot. Save Delon Feldley. Take the shot. You that would be an 18 to hit. 18 hits. Nice shot. And seven points of damage. Seven damage. Green. Um, you fire your first arrow, and it, it grazes its side, and it tries to correct its uh, its flight pattern. Mm -hmm. You have a second attack, do you not? I'm not sure if I can do it with the short bow, though. Of course, usually... yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. You're not, never you're, mind. you're not doing a key point. You're not doing that. You're just shooting. And you, you can punch after this, because a short bow is a monk weapon, so you could punch as your martial arts die. Cool. 25 to hit. Oh, absolutely. And we'll do... Not a crit. No. I have more points of damage. I have more points of damage. All right, a second arrow grazing a... You try to over... You correct while it corrects. So you fire on the other side, and it grazes that wing, and it stumbles a little bit. You take some feathers off, but... Mm. It might... Mm. It might just get away. <gasps> no! Anything else I can do? Oh, no, we lost... Delon Feldley. Oh, the tragedy. 
You know what? We don't need that right now, Daryl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. That face. Uh, sorry, is it, is it gone? Are they gone? They're not gone yet, No, right? no, no. It's the next round. Okay, thank you. I just I I'm like... just cursing while reloading my weapon. I'm like, I don't know. I don't, we'll see what the distance is at this point. Yeah. I'll save you, robot buddy. Robo boogie. Robot Robo. house. <laughs> <laughs> I got that reference. <laughs> the Lumfeld Lee is homunculus. So what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. No, Whose wait, turn what's, is it? what's the top of the round? Yeah, well, Xanon has, has, has a bonus action. That I'm... Yeah, but I can't punch that high in the sky. Not with that attitude. Not with that attitude, attitude. though. <laughs> it's not... Evil butterfly you in can, the sky. You can, you, I would, as a, because you you're a monk, I would let you use your bonus action because you can replace punches with grabs. You could try and grapple it. Okay. You're tall, right? You could try and jump and grab it, maybe. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I didn't it was, know that, it was that, close. that close. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, that makes sense. Well, I was thinking it's like up in yeah, the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was really far. No, I'll grapple like, it. Just like 12 feet in the air or so right now because it's, it, oh, you know, that's it's nothing it's, for a monk. That's easy. I'm like six It's getting away. Aren't you like eight, seven feet tall? You're. Yeah, I'm like seven something. Plus yeah, the reach. She just has the reach. Yeah. Yeah. Close okay. Enough. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. Cool. So you, what, are you, what are you punching? Or are you grappling? I want to try and grapple it. Okay. So it's an athletics check. But to say add, dex or strength. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not a weak creature. Interesting. Okay. Well, that seems bad. Hmm. What's your athletics check? It is. 22. 22. Well, that's only 16 more than I rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Arms around the neck. Yeah. Gonna wrap my legs down and just backwards suplex it. Just like, like drill nice. it to the ground. I don't care if my head hits at the same time. We're going. Okay. We're going down. Uh, suplex, very good. Um, The half elf is like, you guys want to eat these later or what? Like, <laughs> we could. <laughs> what a. Mm. Chickens? Tastes like chicken. And again like, with the food. He's just what he's like, hey, which which one do you want dead first? Uh, the one with my buddy! Great. So he walks up, you're grappling it, which means he gets sneak mm -hmm. attack. Go <laughs> ahead, snap its neck. So ahead, snap its neck. Uh let's go ahead and attack with advantage with the long sword. Roll. Oh, that was almost that's a hit. That's a 21. So. <laughs> Unnamed half elf. <laughs> yeah, he's been, yeah, he's been. That's how he's been rolling the whole time. That's how it's so great. Ooh, I rolled a one. Oh, oh four damage. Ooh. All right. Now do the... it myself if I have to. And just start. <laughs> well, you're almost at town. He'll just action search. Why not? Nice. Let's do that again. Oh, sorry. I got to roll. This advantage. Oh, <laughs> elf burglar with a king sword. <laughs> Sixteen hits. Long sword plus we one. We have to what? save the robot. Our little robot buddy. I rolled robot. another one. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll kill no. this thing. That's eight damage He's total like right missing, now. Kicking oh it. no! He's like, I see what's wrong. Me. I see what's wrong. And he just one hands the sword and he pulls out a dagger. <laughs> sneak, he'll sneak attack it. Actually, he doesn't have a dagger. Didn't you guys? Didn't give him a dagger, did you? No, I, sir. I thought I gave he him something. He can take my dagger. I gave him a long sword, didn't I? Right, he my... takes the dagger off your belt and a little attack with it. That's good. If you wanted to <laughs> kill it quickly. Yeah. Like inventory. Do it. Manage That's inventory. good. Initiative. Do it. Dagger. Do it. Do it. I, I keep seeing this clip. from. I haven't watched Better Call Saul, but there's a clip where he's like, if I need a gun, I'll take it from you. And he's like, how are you going to take my gun? And then he takes the guy's gun. like, you know, Nice. Nice. And it's like, that's what he, he just takes, takes your thing. Uh, advantage offhand because it's a bonus action. I thought I gave him my old longsword. He does have your longsword, but you can't sneak attack with a longsword, Eric. That's fair. Uh, they that's... see it coming ah! on account of its size. <laughs> <laughs> like he's Seven. entering Braveheart mode. <laughs> Seven plus uh, 3d6 is Braveheart 18. Mode. There you go. So he's like, that's the problem. He's like, the problem is this sword is weighted so poorly. And he's just like, he just cuts its head off with the dagger. No problem. He's like, I see what the problem is here. Should we just oh. give him all the best weapons? I mean, honestly. 
No, because I don't think he's going to stay stick around with us. I think he's only two levels above you. I think he's pretty cool. A lot, though. considering. Uh, the other one is like... <laughs> and, and <laughs> it's next to Bambi and Derelith Fell, and probably about five feet from Marcus. And it is going to... Uh... Oh, it just doesn't provoke any attacks of opportunity when it flies out of an enemy's reach, because it can just do that, apparently. So, Does it uh, let go of Bambi, though? It already had. Oh, it yeah, I, yeah right. I punched um, it. How many? It makes one. Oh, it makes two attacks. So it'll make two attacks. It's going to try and gore Derelith Fell, because it right. can. So it, sure. it, it, the God it's butcher? one remaining horn. That's a 23 to hit Derelith Fell. No, that hits me. Yeah, that totally okay. hits me. Um, for ooh, 11 damage. It catches ooh. you under under the arm and just takes its one good antler left and just kind of sticks it in there. Uh, and then it's going to attack. Actually, I need you to make a um, constitu or, yeah, constitution save for ooh. your concentration check. Uh, uh, seven, so I fail. You don't add anything to that? Oh, okay. No, that, that is with everything, yeah. Ooh. So Bambi <sighs> loses her spiritual weapon. No. Or sorry, spiritual uh, armor. Uh, 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 spiritual armor, yeah, whatever it's called now. There. Yeah. Armor of faith. Wow. Well played. Spiritual armor was a spell it used to do damage reduction. That's right. Uh, and then a talent against Bambi because it really wants this juicy little. Bambi, no. all you lost was your George Michael. Carry away its dinner, but that's a twelve, which almost certainly you gotta have misses faith. you. Faith. The twelve. Faith, faith, twelve misses you, Bambi. Twelve misses me. And then it and then it flies uh sixty feet away. See, that's no attacks of opportunity, but it's Derelith Fell's turn, so 60 feet is within, you know. Yeah. Eel I'm going to Eldritch Blast it twice again. Range. All right, make your attacks. <laughs> First attack is 15. That, might not that is a hit. Oh, Derelith okay. said, get over uh, here. They're, will... just they're just the big, mean animals. I do five damage and pull it. Okay. 10 feet, and then uh, I will... <laughs> Shoot it again for 14. I don't know if that hits. Uh, 14 just hits. Okay. All right. And I do another. It's dead. Three points of damage. Oh, oh, okay. It, it did. Well. It did. It had one hit point. <laughs> all right. It's your already second, dead. Your second Eldritch Blast. Yay! Your second Eldritch Blast wraps around. And as it pulls, it's trying to fly away. And you're pulling with this Eldritch Blast. <laughs> and you just rip its wings off. <laughs> and defeather it. Chicken, and then it so this thing plummets to the ground, and I whisper uh, as it falls it's, to the but, ground, "It has been ordained." <laughs> and its and its wings kind of just like drift. Marcus has alouette stuck in his head. Alouette. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah. turn away so the the feathers fall. So behind. these yeah. are peritons <laughs> or peritons. peritons? Per what are P e peritons? r y t o n. They're a pretty common mountainous uh, creature. Pretty evil. Um, they... Okay, but like, are they common around cities? That's the thing that I want to know. So, t because this is a uh, a very traveled area, it's likely that they try to pick up small humanoids as they fly by and bring them back to their mountain homes because <sighs> they uh, they're 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 evil, but they're straight they're chaotic evil creatures. <laughs> they like to eat the hearts of humanoids. <gasps> Dang, we were just their Taco Bell run. Yeah. Yeah, if they, I mean, they're, if, they're probably high and everything. Bring up, <laughs> have to bring evil. up Taco Bell. They're evil, right? Like they're they're evil. Those it's, kobolds it's, are not going to make it. It's based on, no. I'm sure, some kind of uh, myth. But well, they, they might now. Atop, they roost atop mountain ridges and lair in high caves. They prey on creatures living or wandering in the vales below. Travelers on lonely mountain roads learn to keep wary and eye on the sky because normal weapons are less effective against them. That didn't matter. You guys have magical weapons. Bad. Uh, yeah, they like to uh, they their reproduction cycle. Depends on the heart of a freshly killed humanoid. Hmm. The Very female specific. must consume the heart. And then, uh, yeah. Gross. Anyway. Oh, that's okay. great. I encounter I mean, all kinds of interesting characters. I mean, monsters. Did, did Buddy actually well, want to eat thing. them? <laughs> he's like, I've honestly eaten worse. I mean, and he's like, just starts dragging the body. He's like, I don't know. It seems... Fair. You guys want to the harvest these already things? Defeathered. I think he's Buddy like, wants to. It's like half wolf, half chicken, right? Like, what could go wrong? As long as it a tastes lot. like frogs, we're okay. Historically, Delicious. a lot. <laughs> uh, and you all have a hundred. You get hundred and eighty experience for that. Ooh. Trivial encounter. Ooh, let's click up on our thingy, bub. -bub. No, I delete. Show me the experience. All right, delete that. <clears throat> 
180, you said? One yeah. eight zero. Not a lot. Hey. It's Is everybody at 10,605 right now? I'm at I, 11,580. Yes. Did you have a... I feel like you had extra things happen to you, though. Mm. You had more things happen no, to you. I have more things. I'm at 13, but that's because I took that one extra adventure with Gnome Depot. Mm -hmm. So mm, makes sense. everyone else should probably be about the same, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what Harcroft did in Jack. He said, what is he, an elf burglar with a king sword? Harcroft's referring to one of his characters. Uh, that nobody well here played, about. Harcroft. Yeah. The hard craft to follow. Mike takes four guns from Trevor from GTA? Yeah, the guy Tre Je Trevor from GTA plays a character in Better Call Saul. Uh, it's the only clip I've seen of the show because it, it keeps popping up. That's the guy who played Jim Gordon in Arkham Knight. He talks like this, mm. you know. <laughs> I'm Little Trevor Jim As Jim does. Oh, oh you're really good over Tyre, <laughs> Batman. Harley Quinn comes back, doesn't it? A, it does. Tomorrow. It does. Well, it does do that. All right. Getting back to the game, I am a little uh, perturbed by the fact that, uh, you know, the equivalent of vultures can just attack people on the way to Bryn Shander, but I we mean, will they're see. Not, they're not that tough, and usually, you know, people, uh, that's the thing. It's, the, it's dangerous up here, even on the roads, you know, shit happens. Well, right? if there happened to be, as uh, my friends mentioned, a kobolds uh, in a trench coat, that would have been deadly, so... No, Not, uh, you didn't see any kobolds in a trench coat. I'm just saying, hypothetically. You saw two totally normal people on that Yes, road. who are okay with getting hit by rocks. I understand that, yes. <laughs> I, I have often been hit by rocks and ignored it. Well, what did you see? But I'm two just saying as, as walking a... walking on the road. He saw nothing. On two the feet apart, rare occasion that kobolds. three, uh, that kobolds, or maybe ten of them, would dress as a human being, that could be a problem. Just terrible for a city, but uh, I understand. We're in the unforgivable north, or whatever the hell it's called. These, he said, the North remembers. Frozen Far actually is what it's. Uh... The Frozen Far. I wish I was in Luskin or, or Waterdeep. It's all part of the Savage Frontier, which is a word we don't really use North. anymore because it's kind of. I could be having a a, a the, the, the 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 first one not great, the second one also not great. Frontier is a bad word. Front not... I understand Savage. Like we don't like it's not great because it's really been used to like dehumanize people. But Frontier. That's just I. That I don't. Just frontier implies that the rest of the land that you're going over isn't already owned by somebody. Well, in it's like an unknown, unknown place. Yeah. In the case of the Forgotten Realms, it a lot of it isn't inhabited anymore because Fair. all of the old empires did fall to rubble. Mm -hmm. So, because we are, are yeah, parts, we are. Yeah, this is the less inhabited you're like charging part. Up, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, you can you can talk about it, if you want to talk about indigenous species to Faerun. Basically, everybody uh, is on, living on giant land because giants were like the first species here. Elves literally didn't come, didn't start here. They came from another. Uncomfortable. So, they came uh, from out west. Uh, I don't unless know. you want to talk about oh, the fact that did you come from? Where did you go? species humans are actually one of them. There's like amphibians, bird people, and reptile people, and then humans. Where did you are like the only four natural species to Faerun other than giants. Joe. So. <laughs> Where'd you come from, Hal? There's Bryn Shander. I found it. Bryn Shander. All right. Well, That's right. we're here now. Now that we've had a lesson in uh, <laughs> indigenous Bunch relations. Of stuff. Indigenous it's relations. a lot of lore. Nice of the Pope. I'm waiting for a thing to look. Nice of the Pope did not like really, you know, Apologize? Wait, apologize. Hey, here we go. <laughs> sort of. Dun, dun, dun. Not really. Sort of. All right. All right. Brinchander. Ooh. Hopefully we don't get. You guys are approaching from the. You're in the, the east gate. I think that's fun. And there's uh. Hello. There are guards posted at the east gate, and. Uh oh, I totally forgot to mention. Uh, one of the things you guys noticed as you were coming in to town. Um, there was, it looks sort of like a boat, like a boat, not, not, not quite a ship, but almost a ship. And then it's got a great big balloon in a net Ooh. attached oh. to it. It's a balloon Airship. ship. <laughs> like in a, in oh, a, I like know a this. Big ball, like a big ball I know in a are. net. And then it's got all these ropes, and then it's got like a like attached to like a cabin and stuff. I know what these are. And that's parked off like to the southern gate. Uh, what? Which would be down here. 
Yeah. So we see this. Look, we see airships. Oh, yeah. Like, it, well, I mean, one. Is it one? Is it captained by a person named Wedge? How would you know? What? I've what? seen what from Final Fantasy, man. Final Fantasy. Know, and Sid and whoever. Sid, and there's a wedge in Final Fantasy. And there's been a wedge sure. in a Sid and a Biggs in like every yeah. Final Fantasy because they like Star Wars. Yeah. Um, Are you serious? Yeah. No, I did yeah. not know that. Well, there's always a Sid for sure. Yeah. But he's not Vic. Sid, I get. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you're uh, right. So this is what you see. There's no giants. And there's a couple of guards who are like, Yo, good morrow. You know, uh, Mary Travelers, uh, nice to see you. Uh, just keep aware that the gates will be closing shortly. The sun is uh, almost, you know, below the horizon. And you can see at, at the, well, you're walking west, so the sun is dipping below the city in the horizon. Because the city is before you, obviously, since yeah. you're yes. on the east side. I'm on the east side. Fine, fine, fine. The wasn't the, um, I want to talk to the captain of the guard, please. We've been here already. Wasn't the captain of the guard pissed off at us the last time we were here? Yes, it's fine. It's fine. I, we need to talk to somebody who's All in right. charge. Fair enough. Uh, sorry, uh, I know airships. Uh, is this airship familiar to me? Is there any markings on it that are familiar to me? You were pretty far away, but make a perception check with disadvantage. Fourteen. Uh, no, it's it's there's no uh, usually there might be a marking on the airship itself, like on the balloon itself, but there isn't here. At hmm. least not one that you can see from this angle. So it's quite possible. Maybe there's one on the other, but no, you don't see anything. It's a yeah. big white balloon, which is pretty normal. It's usually like canvas or something like that. So. Yeah, but I have not seen. Have we seen? Has anyone here ever seen this before? Nope. I've probably, probably I've seen something like that in Waterdeep, but not for a long time. Yeah. It's interesting. It's good to know. Actually, there's airships here. That's airships mm -hmm. in Waterdeep. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Probably, prob honestly, probably smaller ones, like okay. models and stuff like that. Um, just a, just a model. Who's got the highest passive perception? I think it's Dareleth, right? Probably. Uh, Mine is fourteen. My passive, my passive is 18, actually. Oh, Derelith. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my PP is not that big. PP. <laughs> <laughs> my PP is only like 13. He's like, oh, look at me. Mine's 18. 18 PP. 18 PP. Platinum pieces. The bigger, the better. The, I can um, see more. Someone needs to clip that. The, el the elf is being conspicuously silent. To you, Darylith. No one else notices this. No, no one else thinks about him chiming in on things like that. But to you, he's conspicuous. That's fine. I'm not going to say anything. I just right. take note of that. Interesting. <clears throat> Suddenly, he doesn't want to talk anymore. For later. One of the guards is like, uh, I, I'm not going to summon the captain of the guard here. It's the end of the day. You can go find him. And, you know, the, where well, thanks. Where Garrison is. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. You don't know where the garrison is. Oh, up David doesn't. Head. David doesn't. Well, David should uh, should review the manual. Well, Councilman Les Winan should do a little more thinking and Les Winan. I'll pass Dang that it. on. <laughs> so we pass through then. I'm not even going to bother with these guys. It's fine. We've been here before. As you enter, they, uh, they begin closing the gates and barring them. Oh, good timing. Yeah. Wouldn't want to get attacked by... You know, skinless wolf face, you know, birds or anything. All right, Good well, you. we're back in the city. You wouldn't. We might as well just go back to the hotel we went to last time. I don't remember what that was now, but um, I do want to talk to the captain just because we're back and we did kind of muddle through that person last time. So, uh, we'll, I will, I mean, everyone can follow me, but I just want to go look for this person. I don't remember where they were or anything, and now it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Since we Since, uh, were back in Bryn Shander. Uh, I'm going to assume you guys went to the North Look. It's an establishment most frequented by mercenaries and adventurers. And as such, it's the rowdiest and most dangerous place to stay in Bryn Shander. I don't remember mm -hmm. the North Look, but sure. The, but its tap room is the I best. I think so. Okay. Is that where we stayed before? I don't I, remember. I, might, I don't no. think it was the North Look, The only room, other though. place we were was a two-story tavern called uh, Kelvin's Comfort or whatever. That's in that was another Scare, city. Yeah, that was Probably. a different city. Yeah. It was on the way there. The like, that's the only thing I... 
Yeah, that was the only other thing I had. Uh, uh, Kelvin's down, Comfort so. is in Bryn Chander. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, because I don't remember the north. Remember? It's yeah. Yeah. And that's where we met artist drink Simber's known son. As Flame Beard's Fire Brandy. It also served yeah. mead from good mead and liquor imports from Mirabar. Okay. Yep. We met nice artist notes. Simber's son, and everybody yeah. was asking for artist Simber, and then my character was like, what if it's an ac or and not an acronym, but like, you know, you switch around the letters, and then it's actually Bear T Comes, and we did not like that at all. No, I didn't love it. All right, we're going to look for Bear that? T Comes this time then, but uh, good note, good note kitty taking. I hate Excellent. it a lot more now. <laughs> OT comes? I don't know. Could be a good clue. Get it a lot more. Sounds now. legit. If he was a druid, we wouldn't have to look for that. All right, you guys head to Kelvin's Comfort. Um, you are met by the proprietor and owner, Ogden Flamebeard. And yes, he's oh, a no. stereotypical Another dwarf. Another Scott. Oh, no. Scott of is dwarves. Well, name's Ogden, after all. Ogden, do you remember us? I never forget the face. Who are you again? <laughs> it's fine. We need a room for four <laughs> or five. I don't. I've lost count. Five. And he, le he leans over his dwarf height counter, and he looks down at um, Dellen Feldley. He goes, "Does that does that count as one or no? The L counts as one, not not the I'm just six. Saying, then I'm just making sure that you know your numbers because I, you know, there's technically like six. I've been a very long day, Ogden. Just does uh room. does the doggo need a kennel? No, it does not. No, it very well uh, no, I made it myself. Have you ever made a dog? Can't say that I have. <laughs> Although my ex-wife is a bit of a bitch. Oh no! That's just give us worst. a room. <laughs> just just give us a room. Everyone's I'm like scratching just at the counter. I've, well, I've got a few mutts of my own, but uh, no, I didn't say I've never made a dog. Okay, I lean in. I'm going to use charisma and just say, just give us a room for sex. You say for, for sex? sex. <laughs> I don't think you know what kind of establishment this is. <laughs> I've then. Laddie, Laddie, that sort of thing. Listen, you can find it. Under what name? Bear T Comes? <laughs> I'd like a room under the name Bear T Comes, please. <laughs> Which Since we're here, you... do you happen to have anyone under the name of Bear T. Combs? Which one of you Stay ordered here. all of the smut books? <laughs> and who is Santos L. Helper? Um... <laughs> Santa's little helper. <laughs> it all comes full circle. I need, what was to, the, get, I need what was to get the back to Luskin. What was the question? I just want a room for five. A room for six. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> I've got... Uh, Three rooms available. And he puts down three keys that all look exactly the same, but they have a different number on each one. Fine. I pay him for the rooms. Okay. Uh, this Which is too is gold what? to make it too easy. Too gold. That's yeah. fine. All right. Good. That includes drinks, let's say, and, and food. Ooh, so I will, I will partake have, in the drinks. You have the odd number of rooms. You have rooms one, three, and five. Mm. Is that weird that that's the numbers I pictured when you put down the keys anyway? No. That is a little weird. There's only if I if I say there's fine. so many rooms, and the, I mean, that's true. Um, and the like uh, like, the unnamed half elf is like, uh, uh, where am I? Uh, is, um... You can room with me. It's fine if you wish. Yeah, it's cool. He doesn't have an orb now, so like you're totally <clears throat> safe. No whisper to Marcus. This. I'm sure you'll is find it, something else is it to find. That all three keys uh, look exactly the same but have different numbers. I, I Does just, that mean that like we could use the key on another room and just? We should try it later. No? We should try. It. They'll look exactly yes. the same. Let's do we it. should also ask Bambi. She like makes a lot of metal things. Oh yes. yes. She's got the smart brains for it. Bambi, is this weird? All these keys look the same. Why are we Bambi. whispering in front of the bar? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I want uh, the drinks yeah, now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, can I do like a very brief, uh, like, I don't know, perception, investigation, something? Uh, I, I want to do a metal smithing check. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a thieves tool. Dave's like, I hate you all. <laughs> no, we're just keys? checking in. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Bambi, the keys We've are almost certainly made by the only key maker in Bryn Shander, who is probably not that busy. Uh, in fact, there's it's that's either the most likely thing or they were imported from somewhere else because it's such a specific trade. But I mean, do they all look exactly the same in terms of like do they oh, look yeah. like 
Yes. Oh, so he just has the same key for every door? Yes. Okay, cool. It's much so rarer right. for people to even have keys. Uh, right? Yes. I That's so agree. terrible. Oh my god. We have to go to the other one now. Does no, we key... have to go and open every door. Does the key maker look like the guy from the second no. Matrix? No. No. Aww. Who's also the medic I you were in make a John Wick movie. Like they said no Ghostbusters before you said <laughs> He just said absolutely not on no, my watch. Key from the keyhole. <laughs> Uh, you guys, uh, settle to your rooms, dinner is served, and, uh, as you're finishing dinner? dinner... No, don't ask! Oh, god damn it. It's not great. It's not great. It's just, like, some hot, warm liquid with, uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. and Chowder. Yes. It's the Chowder end. for our sex it's room. The, remember, it, it's into spring, so things are just now starting to be imported, so mm -hmm. they're probably mm. on their last reserves, so this is... Probably Left the worst over. time for fresh food in Icewind Dale. Okay. Um, I'll yeah. take old chowder any day. Frozen yeah. fish, you know, it's and 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 tubers. Uh, and as you are finishing your meal, uh, the sheriff of Bryn ah. Shander enters. Wonderful. And the sheriff of Bryn Shander is where'd he go? Sheriff Markham Southwell. Oh, Markham! Southwell. I wrote down that he's a dick. Yep. I do, I do remember, remember him that. being not great. Yeah. Well, well because we were, we were kind all of... like, "There's problems, and we want to yeah. help." And then he was like, "No, we don't yeah, need." Yeah, we your don't. Help, we know. We don't need problems. We don't need adventurers. Yes. Yeah. He was yeah. very. I justified. named him Sheriff Asshole in my notes. Uh, it's fair. Sheriff. It's fair. Sorry, what's his name? Uh, right under Bear uh, Sheriff Markham Southwell. Mark Markham Southwell. Greetings, well met, Sheriff. Southwell. Oh, it's nice to see you all again. Is it actually? No. You beat me to it. Very good. Zanon stays eerily quiet throughout all of this. <laughs> if you have something to proclaim, please do so forth. This is the I have sheriff. no patience. Mark, I'm Southwell. Yes, no, I know who you are. I'm just showing no, you. No, he's showing us his face. The picture. Oh, okay. For, you know, there's a stream. You didn't like, like suddenly become a teenage girl like this as the sheriff. <laughs> oh my God, are you, <laughs> you the sheriff? Billy, Billy, last time you were that's here, so I cool. totally want to do something. I actually happen. hadn't seen the picture before, so that's yeah. very good. Yeah. Oh, I hope he's voiced by Lance Reddick. Nice. Oh my God. No, yes. oh, uh, David, jeez, uh, oh, what's his name? Who's the president David. from 24? Oh, um. I've never seen that. Dennis Hayes Palmer. Dennis Haysburg. Yeah. He used to do the commercials. That, uh, the com the, the he used to do insurance commercials because he's got a really good voice. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to imitate like him. Is, is he the Allstate voice guy? Yeah, yeah, he might yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, you oh, know, he's, he's big. He's well, I'll scary. respect him more. I mean, with Keith David, I'd be like, I'm going to talk smack to him, but God's the Allstate guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the president of the United States. Um... <laughs> He's the VP in uh, uh, Saints Row, so he's uh, Keith David's He's the pretty president close. in Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Yes. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, um, he doesn't have guards with him or anything. He's like, yeah, I thought I'd pay you a personal visit. So you heard we came back. Well, I have uh, well-trained soldiers in this town. That's good, uh, that's since, good. Since, you know, you were the only people to try and smuggle your way, and successfully, I might add, smuggle your way out of the city during a... Uh, "Quote unquote blockade." Well, we didn't want to cause you any more undue trouble. We had business, and it didn't seem like something we needed to bother you with. So, well, and I appreciate you not meddling in the affairs of the city, after all. Yes. Yeah. Well, how did it go with those giants? Yes, we did notice there is a lack of giants, so something went well. You know, the thing about non-humans is they tend to have a much longer view of things. So th sometimes negotiations. Just um, you negotiated with the giants? Not me, the speaker of the town, obviously. Yeah. I neg my negotiations go a little differently. Would we be able to arrange a meeting with the speaker if we wanted to speak with the speaker? I mean, you wouldn't probably be going through me for that sort of thing anyway. Uh, I just happen to be here because it so happens that I have someone who wants a meeting with you. Who isn't the speaker? Oh. Is it Is it who? It cut, out there. it cut out 
the code there. Is it Artisimber? Is it, is it Artisimber? No. Who? Is it is there it, he is, comes? Is it Elminster? <laughs> <laughs> he he just shouts back. He's like, yeah, she can, you can come in now. Um, oh, wow, they're right there. Oh, that's even more awkward. Yeah. I just yelled, bear till he comes. Any, so, <laughs> diminutive figure um, appears in the doorway, and, it, you know, the wind is blowing outside, and he steps, to it steps towards them, and he says, are you sure you don't want me to stick around? And she goes, you just you don't really hear. She's, you're kind of like an Obi-Wan Kenobi hand wave. Like, uh, like don't worry about it. Oh, it's the hello person. there. And he's, are we right. going to get into some aggressive negotiations? <laughs> You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. Yeah. <laughs> the pain. But what um, about the droid he comes? <laughs> Is that oh. regal? Do you think <laughs> and, she's a uh, spec? Oh, I don't know. Daryl you felt you with your high, a, your high passive perception. <laughs> Emotional damage. damage. The, um, the half elf is like fixated on this figure, this diminutive figure. Oh. But, mm -hmm. And is like, there's a lot of anxiety. In his face, Ooh. a lot of tension mm. in his features. Ooh. Maybe that's who killed him. I should or pass one of his party. better weapon. You know? <gasps> Sexual and... tension. Hmm? And this figure, <laughs> this figure strides towards you all, and uh, takes a nearby step stool. Oh! And slides it in front of your table, and Ooh, one, dramatic. and so it's like kind of on your level. Yep. Nice height. And they pull their hood back, and it is a Mark elderly Hamill. gnome woman with short gray hair. I need to. And Derelith, you just hear out of the hat. Nobody else can hear this. You just hear like an audible, like barely audible, like whisper out of the half elf who goes, Oswald. Bubble pot. All right. <laughs> oh, the misery. And he looks pained. He looks pained? Pained, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. And she introduces herself. She goes, Hello. I've been looking for you ever since you left Mirabar. Mirabar, well Un met. Stranger. Unfortunately, I missed you. My name is Merrily Fiddlebender. Um, that I mean, name sounds that familiar. Does that actually invoke any memories for me or anybody? It might. I don't know. Uh, okay. Can we'll I do on. a... Was it a history check? Because I hear things. Is that the one? History? Yeah, Bard. I mean, Bard you can roll if you want, but I don't... I would probably search the library of books in the Discord. Maybe see if you see it in there. I got a 22. That helps. Open it up. Give me a sec. 22. I got natural twenty as well. As a as a well, okay. The bard, the bard recalls that there was an eccentric alchemist known as Oswald Fiddlebender, who was an adventurer and alchemist, and uh, who did in fact um, have an airship mm. many mm. many moons ago. Coincidence. We don't have yeah, we don't have a fiddle bender in our books. Okay. Um, was he also an ship. octopus in a past no. life? No, absolutely okay. not. Just wondering because there was a, a children's TV series about this Oswald. Okay. Uh <laughs> well uh, met. Sir, go ahead. Oh, Garth. I was gonna ask her if uh she was indeed the eccentric, eccentric alchemist of uh, of of stories that I've heard known of. known as Oswald. Me? No, my uncle died many years ago. Oh. 
Uh, as you've come to find us, uh, and uh, we are uh, at a loss for words, uh, what? Why do you seek us, uh, most gracious Mariel Fiddlebender? What I heard, overheard, there were troubles in East Haven. Mm, yes. And I have sort of a connection to East Haven for my days as a young woman. Mm. Well, we should compare notes. My um, old friend here should remember. Me? The, no. No. The, the, the elf. elf. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, Banby, from the future. <laughs> Banby, it's your kids, Banby. <laughs> we gotta do something about your kids. <laughs> I I slowly look at our buddy elf and go. Wait, I look at her dead in the so eye. I'm like, awkward. I look her. No, I look her very seriously. I'm like, do you know his name? Of course. And he just starts openly weeping. Aww. Aww. I send Dell and Feldley over to give him a hug. I'll give him a I hug. I put him a human. <laughs> I put a human arm around him. A human arm. <laughs> We don't. Dellen <laughs> Feldley's arm isn't as good as Darelith Felt. Oh, fuck. I can't remember my fucking name now. God oh, damn it. As an artist, good hugs. Oh, no. I will. I will give. I will give <laughs> oh. a hug with a with a rub and a pat. That's a, that's a that's stuff. a good hug. That's a stuff. Through his through his <laughs> um. It's better than therapy, right there. You know, through his sobbing. He says, I, I knew this girl. I knew this tiny gnome girl. We we saved her. <gasps> and then there's like a sort of realization in his eyes. And he kind of breaks down where he's just like, you know, I failed them. I couldn't save them. And, you know, kind of just devolves into... Mistress clearly, Fiddle, clearly he's processing a lot at the moment. Mm. Mistress Fiddlebender, not to uh, seem uh, indifferent uh, to our friend's uh, emotional outburst, but we've been through a lot, and anything we can do to uh, save East Haven, as well as our friend's unhappiness, uh, if you could provide some information to catch us up, we are a little bit behind. Well, she says, why don't you catch me up, and then I'll see if I can fill in the gaps for you. All right. Well, um, I don't know. Everyone can just jump in. Um, you don't actually have to explain everything. Okay, good, good. All right. We can just yes. skip over that part. We do that. Okay. Sorry, my, <laughs> my Google thing's going off. That's hilarious. Hello, Google. Okay, anyway. <laughs> no, don't. Say... I'm in computer. my headset, so it's fine. <laughs> computer. Computer. <laughs> Hello, computer. Computer. Hello, computer. computer. Talking to the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Um, she explains that she is the niece of one Oswald Fiddlebender. And that when she was a child, she lived with him on his travels, on his airship. And every once in a while, the half elf chimes in. And like in a sad way, he's like, "Your head was too small." <laughs> oh, and Oswald made you wear a helmet and a rope. And she's, yeah, my my uncle would make me wear the a rope so I wouldn't fall off, in, or in case I fell off. He wasn't the best driver or pilot, I suppose. Yeah, he, uh, he crashed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Like Launchpad McQuack. Yes, whoever that Launchpad. person is. <laughs> I love Launchpad. And oh, love DuckTales. <laughs> she was around when all this happened. She was just a child. But she did write a book of everything that happened, complete with illustrations. Ooh. Oh, even um, better. That's good for us. Um as as obviously needs warrant um but unfortunately she's 
you know, pretty old now. She's almost 300 years old, which is getting up there for a gnome. What was the book Gnomes, called? Uh, something about Mary? I, East, Heroes of East Haven, Icewind Dale, something, oh. yeah, you know. I wanted, I wanted to know if uh, Bambi had... Wait, the history book. of Icewind Dale? No, that book is way older than what I wrote. Book is trash. <laughs> Iconic. There's many oh, volumes. There's many volumes to the history of Icewind Dale, and you it's have true. some of them. No, she wrote a specific book about the exploits of the heroes of East Haven in that time. Go. Yeah. Okay. Does it say the exact date? She probably doesn't remember the exact date. But it was some, it was uh, the 1280s, which is over 200 years. You're in the 1480s right now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she did she did donate that book about 80 years ago to Candlekeep, along with a bunch of other memoirs she'd written since then. She's like, everything's never... in Candlekeep. Yeah, I mean, that's why I thought I'd, if I'd be safer there than with me, you know. You're probably right. So, um... So what are you guys up to? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I share, if other people don't stop me, the whole issue with us trying to get to East Haven, but then finding out that we should find out a little bit more about it before approaching it because scrying was blocked and i fill in the story of us you know going mm. to the big tree and then having to go on a quest because the archdruid didn't trust us and then fulfilling that quest for the most part in the valley of the dead and then going back and then finding out that the archdruid uh wasn't too keen on helping us and i'm going to imply that there might be something wrong with her and she did not help us scry east haven and now we're back here, so uh, that's uh, that's a, uh, that's cool with everybody. Uh, I just want to lay out the whole sorted that story. Is quite a tale. Yes. Probably not one worth writing down <laughs> yet. Oh. Yet. Yet. It seems it needs a bit of fluffing up. Well, we'll work on your dramatic apex, but. Right now, we uh, we don't know uh, how to handle the Archdruid, uh, nor do we have any information for East Haven. So, well, I haven't been to East Haven since I was a little girl. Mm. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not the adventurer I used to be. I'm more of just a, a author... Uh, you ever heard of that guy Volo? Like him, but you know, good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's a very. I, mm. You know, I like to put out mm. information that's accurate. Mm. Uh, yeah, that. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have I actually run across any of her books? No. Okay, there. But you've run across a ton of Volo's books, and every time, like, they're always like half truth, half fiction. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this one time I was captured by a bear. Yeah. And you're like, you go, really? And he's like, and then the bear and I got drunk and had wine. Yep. And, and Volo. You know? <laughs> you're like, oh, Volo. And then it's like, Classic. there's seven. Then they'll be like, and here's 17 different types of bear. And there's, they're all wrong, except for two. <laughs> and, like, and bears specifically love to eat. And then he'll list three correct things that a bunch of wrong things. Like, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Fiddlebender, why did you seek us out then? Uh, to continue one of your stories, or is there anything we could exchange that could we could use to help each other? Well, you know, unfortunately, what happened happened when I was just a little girl, so my memory is spotty. Um, but based on what I heard, I thought it better to be proactive than do nothing since East Haven is so far away and well you folks had come a long way it seems 
Seems an awful long way to come to look for help all the way in Mirabar. Mm -hmm. It was. Plus, I didn't have anything else to do. You know, I've been retired for... It's going for know, the dramatic pause, but 30 years or so, and I've just, you know... You know, you go from town to town, and you just kind of get bored. Hmm. I hope to be bored one day. Oh, it's dreadful. Nice. I do not recommend it. Oh, my. I got some good news, though, about East Haven. Did you hear? Did you hear about the devils? I mean, it's a place for excitement once more. I mean, I like excitement, but not excitement. If you know what I mean. Yeah. No, I, like, I like good stories and things like that. I don't necessarily like to be in the middle of them. Hence why I'm here and not hovering over East Haven at the moment. I mean, I can cast invisibility on you. Oh. And then and then you won't be in the middle of the action. You can just watch it. Oh, I've seen some fucked up shit. You know, <laughs> being invisible doesn't stop you from getting exploded from a fireball. Right. Um, uh, real. Have you ever seen... a? Dra you know dragons don't care about invisible things, right? Like, they just do what they're going to do. How many how many dragons have you met? Met? None. Thank goodness. <sighs> oh, you're missing out. We have this really good friend, Ozithinimiax. Is Ozithinimiax? Ozithinimiax? He's a red dragon. Uh, we met him. It's a girl. We became buddies. Uh, he's a girl? It was a girl dragon. It was a girl dragon. I'm so it's glad we don't know that they're dead. No. Oh. Uh, it's definitely a girl dragon. Yeah, she was living. Uh, she's living in this cave, and she had like a little horde. But she was very friendly, surprisingly friendly. I was not expecting that. Like I've read a lot about dragons, and I know that they are not nice. But like, this was a very nice dragon, and she liked us, and she said that we were buddies. M Mistress, I'm Mistress Fiddlebender, uh, you you must forgive my diminutive friend. She is very interested in history and world events. Mm -hmm. I was just curious as to why you uh, tried to find us and if there was anything we could exchange that could be helpful to each other. Yes, I'm ignoring you, Bambi. I am. <laughs> I'm trying to find... There's a year? Or is it? Oh, yeah. She was alive during the year of Road Dragons. Yeah. The Draco Rage Mythal really fucked oh, some great. shit up and made a bunch of dragons go crazy and kill a bunch of people. She's like, oh, I, I was like 50. I remember that. It's terrible. So she's not a fan. <laughs> she's not a big fan. Um, plus, well, I have an airship. Dragons are a nuisance. Your airship, would you be willing to help us reach certain places? Uh, and what would that cost? Keep in mind, we did reunite you with your friend. I don't know that they're friends. They're friends. Mm, they're friends. Ha ha! Got it! What was if the you're question actually friends, what's his name? <laughs> My question before yeah, that was why she came to seek us out. Why she actually mm. wanted to talk because, to us. Because exactly what I said. I thought I said that more or less earlier. It's not a great reason. But she was bored. Mm-hmm. Yep. And she was in Mirabar, and she's like, people in, in East Haven are looking for help. And you're like, well, that's a long okay. way to okay. go. Yes, so. yes. Well, on that note, though, um, so I explained to her how we, you know, you know, to reiterate, we went to the Archdruid because we had to scry the place, and we couldn't, and that didn't work out. So what kind of help can she provide with regards to the East Haven breach? If oh, she knows anything. Nothing. I, I'm i not an adventurer. Right. Not even a little anymore. I am so retired. But why did East Haven uh, spark your interest in speaking to us? Well, because I had been there. Many, mm. Like, there was, you know, I was... At, I wouldn't say at this... I don't want to overstate my... Uh, my um, importance in the whole... You know, 
devil taking over Kaldahar thing, but um, I was there. You know. Wait, devils taking I mean, over Kaldahar? Wait, that's not. I was talking about East Haven. So devils have yeah. taken over Kaldahar in the past. My, my friend here was originally he came out of East Haven with his mm -hmm. group, and they. Mm -hmm. I was in Kaldahar, mm -hmm. and then everything happened in the end in East Haven. So Kaldahar and East Haven have been affected by devils before. Well, it was it was a one guy, as I understand it. Oh yeah, what was his what was his name? Don't remember. Mm. But you remember this guy's name? Oh yeah. But you're not going to say it because he doesn't seem to know it either. He's forgotten it. This seems like a, you know, a thing between us. I don't know. <laughs> God, uh, I'd like to. Drama. I would like to very. I, I would like very ineffectively he's uh, very sad at the moment i don't know if you yes. noticed he's yeah he's beside himself maybe he'd be he'd feel better if he remembered his name you know what uh, i'm not so sure about that when i came up with this in the shower david cried in the shower <laughs> because <laughs> i'm so wait does I'm that mean we need to push nope, david to nope make him cry because because we i'm first person as that character when i'm thinking of these moments but how do we make you third person and cry? That's the... uh, anyway. Like I, I would no, like to I'd use to my very again. bad charisma and mm. try. And, oh no! Yes, persuasion. Gnome and to I, gnome. This is going to be good. Yeah, <laughs> but see, I want to be very clear. Uh, like Bambi is trying very hard. Mm. I'm aware that Bambi cannot try very hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. And it the is role reflects hilarious. it. It's a ten. Um, and it's just like like I'm just saying like I recognize like this is very selfish. But like, also, I very, I feel very badly every time I speak to him and I don't know his name and he doesn't seem to know it and he's very upset and I just want to be able to comfort him and I know that I can't do that without his name. It's true. And honestly, as, as a bard, I've been trying to write our, our exploits, you know, into a, into an epic song and I can't, you know, not She's like, you're name. a bard? I am a bard. <laughs> Yeah, look at the look at the loot on my back. Um, I could have sworn you were a monster hunter, but uh, <laughs> I am that good, good of an disguise. actor. Um, you know, I I, I would actor. love to. She's like, oh, an actor. What have you been in? Oh, no, oh, nothing. Have I seen you in anything? Nothing much. Netflix mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Witcher. <laughs> is that a play or is that? Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 a short-lived television. It's, it's an series. epic. It's an epic uh, poem. Not that short-lived. A poem. Uh, yeah, that like is a saga. Yeah, yeah, like a saga. Oh, never heard of it. It's okay. Not many people have. <laughs> it's sad. What I love is that you guys haven't known his name for so long. Whatever I say now will never lit. Like, it's going to immediately be like, that's a terrible name. <laughs> we'll, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> it's like you, nobody can know the waitress's name on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because it's been like 16 seasons of... Nobody knows her name. <laughs> you dated the waitress? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh. um, she's like, do you really do you really want to know that bad? Because I don't. Yes, yes. I, do. yes. <laughs> I don't. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can cut us off right here. You have you have better charisma than me. You could like you could very clearly you could very easily uh, cut across yeah, the top. It doesn't matter. Whatever, do whatever you want. <laughs> she, everybody, roll a perception check. Wait, you roll or we Another all roll? All, you check. all roll. Fuck you. Oh, oh no, it's just roll? perception. Uh, oh, uh, it's a roll. natural twenty. Plus four that's, is twenty-four. That's pretty good perception. Okay. I got Don't. twenty-two. Seventeen. I I'm good 20. at looking. I ain't good at talking. <laughs> I got a twenty. Wow, everybody killed this, eh? Yeah, yeah. We want to know. <laughs> We're like, don't turn us away, tell us. Oh. That's the truth. She whispers a name. At the same time, he starts saying. Oh, dramatic. It's like, he's, but he's definitely like slightly behind her. So like oh! he's he's getting it as she's saying it. Oh. And she 
which is why when I knew him 20, 200 some years ago, uh, he liked to call himself the Shadow Fist, the Great Thief. But uh, it's Gabriel. Oh, uh, is that God. name known to us? Absolutely not. That is the second character I ever made in D&D. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Neat. Neat. This is my half-elf fighter rogue. Nice. I love it. But we will now forever know the name. It's the same half-elf fighter rogue. Can I still call him Buddy? He's like, I don't, I don't care. I think I'm Gabe. Oh, just Gabe. kidding. Gabriel's fine. Let me go give him one. Let me all give him a hug. More of your patent tid hug. <laughs> Is it coming through She's one like, word at a time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's breaking up. It's breaking up. Yeah. Oh my god. It was great. Damn it. <laughs> it's, okay. it's actually funnier that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to Gabriel and yeah, I'm gonna say. Bring it to him, Gabe. Bring it to him. I'm just gonna hug it out. All right, I'm gonna ignore all of this emotional damage, and, and he's I'm like, just gonna... he, his hands turn black, and he's like, I think that explains this. Then. What? Huh? His hands turn black while he's yeah. like, your hands are like dead hands. Because they're no. shadow fists. Yeah. Get it? Shadow fist. Oh. Oh, do you guys not know Mortal Kombat? Johnny Cage does the shadow kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on. yeah, I get that. Wow, I didn't think we'd get a Mortal Kombat reference here. Nope. I did not a Johnny yeah. Cage fan when I was a kid, you know? Fatality. Okay. So, is his last name uh, Cage? <sighs> no, his name is Gabriel Shadow Fist. Gabriel Who's Shadow Cage? Fist. Mm -hmm. it, that's that's like enough. It. That's enough of a Mortal Kombat that's name. The that's the most fucking nineties. Yep. It's a nineties fighter name for sure. Yep. I love yep. it. Yep. Yeah, all I, you could do to that. You were gonna like, hate it. I love I this mean, name. XL or something. Probably at the end. That would be... probably thought of it in the year two thousand, two thousand one, but nice. Like it so very the, much. Year the year two thousand. Don't worry, you'll never meet meet my first character, next tour, the Minotaur Barbarian. <laughs> I what happened to Nextdoor? Ask, we never played AD Mistress Fiddlebender. Have you ever heard of Nextdoor? <laughs> nope. Is that an app? No. What's like an app? Rude? Powerful, famous barbarian minotaur. In fact, he was anyway, on level two. Famous enough. Uh yeah. And he just... starts. He starts listing the names of his friends. Oh, oh shit. Okay. There was a paladin. There was a cleric. Mm -hmm. There was a ranger. Mm -hmm. There was a wizard. Mm -hmm. There was a fighter. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember their names right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Mistress uh, Fiddlebender doesn't care to remember them, then we won't either. Then that's fine. Hmm. But the important thing is Shadow Fist is, is remembered in, in, in memorial. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, Fiddlebender, it is good to meet with you to satiate your boredom uh, and to catch up on the stories. Uh, but East Haven is uh, a threat again. Uh, how did you... How, how was it resolved before? And is there anything that you could provide us uh, to aid us Wait, in this? These these guys all killed a bunch of people. The, this, this party, the Shadow Fist people. Oh. I got their names. You want their names? Ah, yes. All right. We'll track them all down. Let them do it. The Elven Archer. Valente. V-A-L-A-A-N-T-H-E. Is that the Ranger? That's the Archer. Uh, I th Archer. Is that a type of Ranger? It is a type of Ranger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or how do you spell that? V-A-L-L. V A L A V A L A A N T H E. Valen Valen the Valen the. Got it. Lente. I thought it was like one of those fancy um like Gucci things. Lente. 
uh, there was a human mage named Zelia, Z E Y L I A. Damn, she got dope stuff. Eighteen decks, eighteen intelligence, eighteen wisdom, sixteen con. Hey, we That's gotta, nice. we gotta, we gotta find her. Oh, she's mm -hmm. human. She's long dead. Yeah, but unless she became like a lich or something. Nice. Unless she shrunk when she I'm died, okay then with she'd that. be short dead. We can make alliances with liches Long's and then I blow them up. Man, he no! has 1878 strength. Damn. Uh, there was a half elf bard. What did I say? I said cleric before, didn't I? There is a cleric. Yeah. You did. It? Oh, it's a dwarf fighter cleric. That's why. Uh, half elf bard named Selame. C E L E M E. 19 intelligence. What's buzz boosting? Right, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a little dyslexic. Sorry. C E oh, what? Sword. C E L E M E. Salome. Okay. There's probably an accent or two in there. All right. Yeah. Sounds very fresh. Um, Osric Helmcleave with his 1899 strength is a cleric of Moradin. Got it. Technically, fighter cleric, but oh, what a badass. Osric what? Osric. Helmcleave. Osric. Helmcleave. O S R I K. Helmcleave. And their leader was a paladin named Rex. Rex. Who's got, he's actually my Baba's gay character. So he's got 19 strength, 18 dex, 19 con, 21 wisdom, 20 charisma. Does he, nice. does he scream like this? Roar! <laughs> like in Toy no. Story? And he was a oh, human. Rex. He was a human. Oh. Yeah. Only, humans, only humans could be uh, paladins back Did then. Did I so. scare you? <laughs> That was his party, yeah. Weird. Uh, I think X. in a different version, the paladin was a woman. Like a fun gang? I think I made it three and three. Yeah, and he was the rogue, the thief, actually. Hmm. Do you recall how these heroes of old uh, sorted out this Hellgate? Like, she's like, I think they just killed every motherfucker. Mm. All right. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Um... um You've been to the Great Tree before? I used to live there. Uh, how long ago was that? Oh, I left. Long time ago. Over 150 years ago? Hmm. Hey. Just, to, I'm sorry. We're gonna do a total side tangent. Did you know the guy in the tower, the wizard's that tower? That is a side tangent. I thought you were gonna ask about the druid. Bull. Oh, what was that curmudgeon's name? I remember his name. She doesn't have to. It's okay. Because they like something the gray. Gandalf? Oh, he was gray when we last saw him. He was very dead, and they just locked him in the tower. Gabe oh. looks at you and he's like, listen, that's pretty fucked up. That's right. uncouth even for a priest of Kalembor. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't say it was a good I thing. I told you mm -mm. that's where he wanted to stay after his death. And I was totally fine with it. Awkward silence. <laughs> I'll roll a Anyways, it's very straight. Like, did, was that a normal thing? Do they like do that a lot? Just they... die in their towers? And then like lock them in there? It's his tower. <laughs> you realize okay. that I'm a, yeah, I'm a fair, priest yeah. of death. You could have just asked me whether or not people do this sort of thing. And well, yes, I mean, do. it turns out that you uh, were wandering around with an evil orb that uh, you tried to murder yes, me with. Evil orbs, yes, yes, right, yes, yes. This is evil thing again, yes. Mm -hmm. Um. An evil orb that the the weird, very clearly not a druid like weirdo, whoever is running that that town now. Not uh, great. My gnome Stole companion it. brings up a good point. Who was in charge of Kaldahar when you uh, had last uh, passed through those lands? Isalor. Oh yeah, he's dead. She killed him. Okay, I that's, assume that's making assumptions, and that makes an ass out of you and me as. Mm -hmm. Helm likes to say. Isalor, I spent a lot of time with Isalor, and 
Uh, he might be dead. He... He was a half-elf, I think. No, I want to be clear. He was murdered. Okay, that again is an assumption, I must say, as as Tyr would say. Uh, well, who is the current really... Archdruid? Because Isalor was the Archdruid when I was a kid. And who took over after... What was his name? And, and Gabriel's like, is, or, or Arendelle. Ar Arendelle was the... One who was murdered. Arundel. A-R-U-N-D-E-L. Sure. Yeah, 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 I do that. And then this Isalor. Isalor took over? Okay. All right. So who actually is the one who's in charge again now? I forgot that. When? At <laughs> what time? Now. Now. So we have got a gap, but where we are now, it's... Um... Isalor took over after the other one died. The yes. First one. So this is yes. currently Arundel. Isalor? It, it went Arendelle. Arendelle yep. was murdered. Isalor. And then yes. nobody knows because that was 200 years ago. Yep. And now? And now... Ardalas? Was the one you yeah, know? I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. have a stalling on that. Ardalas, yeah. Ardalas. Well, that doesn't really help. I mean, she doesn't know anything about yeah. the Ardalas. current I mean, yeah, on. yeah, I guess. Ar you know what? It's fair. I don't know that she murdered him. But yeah, Ardalas is uh, just kind of running around there. She stole this guy's orb. Not really sad about that, I have to say. Uh, mm -hmm. And she also seems to have cursed me with like a, a shadow. Okay. All right. All right. Look, look. Just to get us back on point, the heroes, uh, including our friend Gabriel here, they just went and they just destroyed all the devils. Is that it? Was there anything else more to it? Were they blessed with any weapons of the gods or any particular vestments that could have helped them in this oh, they cause? They had all kinds of magic items, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure there were other steps to them just like, you know, killing every demon and devil they encountered um but keep in mind i wasn't with them mm -hmm. i wrote the book when i was right. like uh 15 right so well we're just looking for any help that might be applicable uh that might help us in saving the town again because it is overrun again with devils and uh it could be a problem so uh, anything that comes to mind, we would find helpful. Otherwise, uh, might have to travel to Luskin or something for her further... expression goes blank. Mm -hmm. And she looks around the room. How did I get here? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Mm. What do you last remember? And she looks at you. She, do I know you? We've been talking for a little bit. I don't think so. I was just with my husband. Oh, sorry. My mistake. I, my apologies. Um, and she, 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 like, she like straightens yeah. herself out and things like, I was just, my husband was just around the corner and he should be back any moment. Where do you think you are right now? She doesn't respond to you. Um, Gabriel, have Do you ever seen anything check? like this before? When I met her, she was a child. Right. So, um, uh, Mrs. Fiddlebender, where do you need to go? We would be happy to escort and you. She looks at the half elf and she goes, I haven't seen you in an age. You have an age today. Where have you been? And then she kind of drifts off again. Mr. Swiddlebender, can we help you get home to your husband? Hmm? We'd yes, be happy he, should to be, he should be around here. He should be around the corner. He should pick me up any moment now. As my friend asked you previously, where do you think here is? She's not going to be able to answer that. Yeah, I know. 
I'm just trying. Mm -hmm. uh, Mistress Fiddlebender. Hmm? Um, I have always wanted to see your airship. Do you think that you could give me a tour of it? Uncle Oswald's airship, yes. Oh, yes. No. Many times he did. Oh, uh, yes, he good. has. My husband should be around to pick me up any moment now. I offer her my arm and uh, sort of gently take her hand in mine and guide her outside towards the airship. <laughs> oh, my God. No. By the gods. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, wow. I think he, I, I, I believe your husband's by the airship, ma'am. Oh, very good. Very good. Then he should be mm -hmm. pick, here to pick me up any minute now. Excellent. Let's let's head to the airship then. Um, I I know that you're not very familiar with this town, so I'll, I'll if you would take the lead in walking you there. Nonsense. I've spent my entire life in Mirabar. Mm. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Well played. Excellent. Uh, uh and what? Uh, I have to know. The inn was not that great. Um, is there a better one? I'm saying this as we're walking towards where I know the airship is. I'm impressed. The inn simply I was simply out for a walk. That's all. Yes. No, I was asking for myself. She probably can name whatever inn and mm -hmm. or tavern and mirror bar, but I don't know yeah. off the top of my head. No, 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 no. We're just, yeah. Because uh, we were there before. I'll name the one that we were at, and I'll say it wasn't that great. And, you know, there was a lot of cheese. My my companion can't eat it that well anymore. <laughs> my dear, oh. it's not nice mm -hmm. to speak cheese, ill of yeah. others when they're not around. Oh, wait, I have cheese. No, I'm talking about Xan, and Xan had too much cheese as a wear rat. Mm -hmm. I did. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a rough time in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're really still touch and go there for a little bit. No, <laughs> touching toilet paper a lot and going where? <laughs> <laughs> going very slowly. Mm -hmm. Going very slow. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, but ma'am, I've always I'm thrilled that your uncle's airship is here. I have not seen one since I left mm -hmm. my home. Uncle Oswald's here, is he? I haven't seen no, him I'm... in quite some time. Yeah, I would like just to see Uncle Oswald again. Always I know make me wear thing. a helmet. Why was your head too small? Not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> it happens with us, it. you know. Fair enough. She's shorter than you because she's like. She's wee wee wee. Yeah, yeah she's shriveled. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I regale her with stories of Halrua and the airships that I saw as a child as we walked towards the airship. And then we fade to black. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. nice. I told you I would make it sad. <laughs> I didn't so lie. Sad. It was sad. Brutal. It was sad. Brutal. But, Andy, that was some of your best work yet. I will say. Yes, I am very impressed. And he was I will like, say. Steve was broke kind. the stream. <laughs> I didn't mean to break I, I, it. Come back. I love it. God damn it. Uh, so much. I feel like we got so many answers. So many. So much lore. So many thoughts now. And yet. Oh. Yes. More needs to be and yet, what is we next? Still and we will next, next time. Oh, oh, damn it. Nice. <laughs> But not next <laughs> week. Shit. Not next week. In two weeks. Oh, two weeks. Because sorry, what's two happening in two weeks? Ah, uh, D and D. Not next sorry. week. Sorry, next week. Eric's busy next week. I uh, I actually might be, to be. I actually also will be busy next week, so that worked out. <laughs> Perfect. So, so two weeks from now, we're gonna hear more about this airship lady. Mm -hmm. and by that I mean we're gonna steal well. her airship and take her home. <laughs> we're Fair taking enough. her home first. Well, I'm glad. I'm yes. glad we're on the same page because yes. But I don't know where are we going with the airship now. Are we going to Luskin or are we going want. to Mirabar? Wherever, Wherever we want. We're just going to leave this adventure. Let's let's, let's go it. to the unapproach. Let's go to the unapproachable east just to really throw a wrench. You would like to I go wonder to if we should you? go look for that book that she wrote because 
she what did murder she wrote? Was, well, you gotta go candle keep? Mm, but we don't have anything to give them. The clue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, you know what? I am all for going to Candlekeep. Well, That's way mentioned, like, away from where we're supposed to be going, though, okay? I was like, Candlekeep is cool. We should. The we campaign should. where we decide you know where to go. You guys go to Campbell really Keep, Candlekeep? Keep? I am all for it, okay? Can, I, uh, I think so, that is no, remember, not where we should be going. We but we haven't yet is because we have to bring something they don't have that they will want. An airship. <laughs> they will have an airship, I guarantee you. I know they do. No, that's right. We need to give them a book that they don't have. Oh crap! Yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, that spooky, evil, big book of necromancy. Mm. Mm. Wait, do oh, we, we still have that? that? And you're like, isn't they that, wouldn't want that. Isn't that, that in evil. Bambi's bag? I wasn't sure if we gave yeah, that to the like, arch druid or not. No, because the druid didn't want it, and it was also for we the do. best because she was secretly evil, right? It's full of. We do have that. We don't, yeah. We don't know what the hell was going on with her. To be perfectly honest, it was honest, made with but... skin. That's got to be unique. This is. A, wasn't this mm. the miracle book? Yeah, that was. Okay, yeah, I guess they probably wouldn't have that, but I'm not sure that they really want it, to be honest. Um, excuse me, Vowed, do you have a copy of this one-of-a-kind flesh <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, that that should be uh, locked up somewhere, but no, okay, we fine. Can't we can't Nicar- oh, no, no, we've got to go to Necronomicon, thank you. All right, anyway. well, we did well, we did well. Good job. Do the Necronomicon. We'll see, you. The we'll see everyone. In two in weeks. In two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Prudic, sorry, two weeks. All right. Sorry, uh, I'll be camping next week. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Guys. Yeah. Bye, okay. bye. Bye, See everyone. You next week. Thanks bye. for coming. Bye.